WWCR now begins operations on 3.215 MHz. Our mailing address is WWCR 1300 WWCR Avenue, Nashville, Tennessee 37218, USA. This is Classic Redneck Radio, making all adjustments. Sam, do you copy? Yes, I copy. Very good. All right, ladies and gentlemen, Baruch Bahashem, Yawashua. You always bless your breath. You want to uh, speak only that which you hear from the Spirit of Truth. Classic Redneck Radio, taking off. Oh, and life's feeling like it's uh, going to be a wipeout. Then grab your helmet and fasten your seatbelt. Don't forget your fire suit. Bring out the farm tractor, cause we're gonna be plowing true. Yeah, that's it, Britney Radio. That's it, Britney Radio. That's it, Britney Radio. Sweet, classic Britney. Greetings, 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 uh, my fellow Americans. America is an ancient uh, makeup of two words, like two witnesses. It means kingdom heaven. Oh, yeah. Greetings, my fellow kingdom heaven uh, laborers. There are few of them. The harvest of truth is plentiful, but there's only a handful of laborers. And remember, the bride has no guile from her mouth. So if you're saying the days of the week and the months, which is the calendar of Pope Gregory, Julius Caesar, the calendar of Satan himself, and you keep it, and the whole world keeps it, it is the broad highway that leads to death and destruction. That's why the devil wants to ask you, your D.O.B. It's a false calendar, a false system, and your agreement with it uh, is agreeing with the world. The word world means time. You didn't know that, did you? Nobody told you. No, they didn't let you know. Because if they let you know, their whole money scam stops, their whole false belief is shattered. They will not come to the light because it exposes them. It says so in the book of John, chapter 2, verse 20, I believe it is. and uh, Or 3, verse 20, excuse me, chapter 3, verse 20. And uh, it's up to you. You have to search. And a laborer moves the words that are scrap words. Move them aside, go to the root meaning of the word, and you're going to find, like the word preach in the Bible. There may be several scriptures that say preach, and he preached. You go study, because that word preach over here doesn't mean preach. It means preach over here means to preach, to say, to give information uh, in a lengthy way, like a preacher would, you know, a type of lecture. But over here, preach means to proclaim a short, simple declaration, a proclamation to proclaim. So if you don't move these tear words aside and labor and study, you ain't getting in the kingdom at all. And the only way you find that information out, the hidden man is there only to be found by the ones who fear their maker. This is Classic Redneck Radio. Been doing this for decades and decades and decades. And right by our side, riding shotgun this evening at the end of the Shabbat. This is a seventh-day Sabbath. This is not a pre-recorded show or program. This is a broadcast of Word Truth, and it is live right now on your pagan, crappy ending of your fish god fry friggin day this is the day that Yahweh has made rejoice and be glad in it he didn't say this is the Friday that, that God made this is the Thursday the God of Thor and Thunder that's the day that God made this is Wednesday knock on wood Wednesday Odin's day which is day the day that God made it's not Tuesday the God of two the God of justice the pagan God does not worship the moon day moon day the day that God made Oh, maybe. I'll correct myself. I'll repent. I'll fear God again. I'll fear Yahweh again. Or you want something smooth and you cover your ears. So it's all up to you. And uh, my, my, my. Yeah. 
if you simply will fear your maker, just simply fear him, you will find the key of David and you're going to go into the house as children justified of wisdom. And remember, remember this clearly. If no one on, if, if your preacher, man, woman, it, whatever, if your preacher, your priest, your rabbi is not continually preaching the everlasting good news, the treasure of Yahweh is the fear of Yahweh. If you're not continually hearing him or her preach the fear of the Almighty, they're full of bullshit. It's a fact. It's in the Bible. Uh, where your treasure is, there also is your heart. Out of the mouth speaks the abundance of the heart. And it says the fear of the Almighty, the fear of the Lord, as you would say it in your vernacular, the fear of the Lord is his treasure. The fear of him is... That's why the only begotten Son, Christ, the Anointed One, feared his Father and never broke the Torah. Wow. You can do it too. And these lying preachers that say, you, nobody can keep the law. You can't keep the law. The law's been done away with. Just don't say the F word, the S word. Don't drink, don't smoke, don't cross, don't covet. And uh, just uh, watch television and watch the commercials because that's coveting. Uh, just get your magazines. That's coveting. Look at your websites. That's coveting. Don't say the F word. Don't say the S word. Don't say A and then the word, you know, H-O-L-E, right? Don't say that stuff. That's bad. Yet, there's no guile from the mouth of Christ, no guile from the bride. And the guile is the seven hills of the harlot, the seven days of the week. They are the whores, gods, the supreme, supreme beings of the seven hills, the seven mountains of the whore. And you think the whole calendar is just groovy, man. Groovy. The date of birth, man. I was born in... Yeah, and you brag about it. Well, I was born in August on the 9th of August. I was born in August, you'll say, on the 9th of August. Oh, really? So you're worshipping and giving credence to Caesar Augustus, who called himself God. Oh, I was born in July. July 4th, you know. I was born July 4th, you might say. And uh, on d such and such date. So you're giving credence to Julius Caesar, who called himself God. And you're keeping the whole damn calendar of the Julian Pope Gregory calendar and you say you're a Muslim or you say you're a, you're a Christian or you say you're a Jew or whatever and you, and you go to the motor vehicle and you sign in and you do social security and you do all the stuff and they write a date of birth and you write it down. You're agreeing with the devil. It's an absolute bona fide fact. But you won't come out of her. You love get being inside the whore house. You love being in the whore house. You're so stiff naked, stony hearted. You're lukewarm. You do. You think you have it all figured out. You don't. You you do not have a treasure. You're blind leading the blind, and he's going to vomit your name right out of the book of life, dude. Christ is the book of life. He's the judge. He's the physician. He's everything. He's the law made flesh, and you. It was the fear of his father. Hebrews chapter five. Acquainted with sorrow and grief. And he's going to vomit your name right. You're not, you're not saved. One saved. All. When you were, you thought you were saved. Many, which means most in the Bible, most were called. Few are chosen. So if you got two million Seventh Day Adventists, you think you're all chosen because you're keeping Saturday, Satan's Day, Friday, Fish God Friday, all the way to Saturday. You think it's all the devil? He's so stupid. He moved it from Saturday to Sunday, and and uh, and so we're going back to the original Sabbath. That's a lie. The original calendar is according to the sun, the moon, and the stars. He said, "Look up and redeem the time." How is it you can discern the weather and you can't figure out my clock? How did the wise men find Christ in the cave? Hmm? They followed the heavenly reckoning. How does a sailor at sea find his way home? Ah, yes, the sun, the moon, and the stars. That's how you do it. Yeah. But you love to give out your D.O.B. and... You know, David, he he gave out the he gave out the social security numbers to the men to the yeah, gave it all out. They numbered the men and they seventy thousand men had to die because they accepted what the president of the United States said you gotta do. 
They accepted what the king of Israel said. David said, okay, I'm going to get SS numbers on you. I'm going to know how many U.S. Systems, the executions, the wars, the stop of a war, the start of a war. All goes on Satan's calendar. And the Jews will tell you, they got it all figured out. They do not. They do not. The tribe of Ishkar is the only one who is anointed to have the times and the seasons. The appointed times and seasons, the calendar of the Creator, according to the sun, the moon, and the stars. The Jews are supposed to have oracles, words. Words. They don't even have them right. And that's why he says the Jews have three major transgressions against them. They're not the chosen. Those who fear Yahweh and obey Him, learn from Him and obey Him and accept the blood, which is the fear. The mystery is the fear. The blood is the fear. You, you fear Him, you'll hear Him, you'll learn and you'll obey. Then when you obey in the book of Acts, you get the set-apart spirit of truth, which makes it even easier to keep the Old Testament. Because Christ died and removed the death penalty from the Old Testament. So the Jews are screwed. All of us are swimming in the grace. I'm swimming in the grace right now. Are you swim? You want to do the swim with me? I'm swimming in the kindness, unmerited favor. How about you? you want to swim? You're in the damn holy sea of the calendar of Satan. The holy sea. I'm swimming in the grace. I'm swimming in the grace. How about you? I'm swimming in the grace. How about you? Yeah. We all are. Except you're pissing the grace away. You have been. You're pissing on the wall, says the Bible, and it's sprinkling back on you, and you stink. Your stench of your sin, which is transgression of the Old Testament, is coming up before the nostrils of Yahweh That's a fact. And he's on his way, and that's a promise. He's on his way. Truth has already started the launch. And he sent me to be the spokesman, the messenger of Yahweh, to tell you all, repent! And he says... Many of you were called, most of you were called, you thought you were saved. Few of you are going to get chosen. It's a little remnant. As I tell you always, a remnant, you go to the flooring store, it's like, give me a remnant, I can't afford $300 to get, have a remnant around here. They say, yeah, we got one for 50 bucks, a remnant, it's a little one. Okay, I'll take the little one. He says, the remnant is little, but then he says, he says, it's a little remnant. So it's not like, the, it's, not, it's not a big deal. So it's in the days of Noah. It's like under a million people are going to make it out of seven plus billion, which is the seven billion is the fullness of the Gentiles. Because the stock of Abraham of the 12 tribes of Israel are as the sand of the sea and what? The stars of heaven. All right. So here you are. All over the earth, the stock of Abraham, and you're going to perish for ignorance, lack of knowledge, because they didn't preach the fear of the Almighty to you continually, which Christ said to do in Matthew 10. I mean, don't stop. Get on the rooftop. Shout it out. Fear Yahweh, you will live. Get back what you've robbed. Give again the pledge. You hear anybody else doing that? Excuse me. I'll open the live phone line in a minute. Do you hear anyone else doing that anywhere on the planet? And I don't mean some guys from Virginia who got their pictures on the website who can yell loudly but have no Ruach HaKadosh, no set apart breath of truth. They can't pronounce something and it happens. No power. Because they're breaking the law just like everybody else. They're, in, they're, they're injuring the house of Israel, all these people who, who put their pictures on the websites. They're injuring. They're saying, well, Yahweh said we can't break the second commandment and make an image of anything. And, uh, the, you know, the, uh, Lucifer calls us to, causes us, rich, poor, small, great, ever kindred, tongue, tribe, and nation, to voluntarily make an image to the beast. And the image speaks and, and in order to buy and sell. So we have our pictures on the website so you can see that we're, we're good old redneck boys. You can trust us. Uh-uh. I walk by faith. I don't need to see your kisser, your mugshot. I don't need to see it. I knows you by the words you speak. Yeah, and, and danger, danger. So there's a preacher I heard today. I'm not going to say any names. Preacher says God told him that he's going to receive a hundred million dollars and build this super end time network well when you get it done son 
Hand me over the microphone, because I'll show you how we get this done, okay? Otherwise, have fun with your sexy makeup artist and your hair designers. Yeah, have some fun. Yeah. You might have the true blues there going on at the end of that little statement. Wow, the true blues. My fellow Americans, my beloved brethren, can you not see the bullshit all over the place? Can you not see through the glass clearly now? Can you not see how it's a big, damn, multi-layered, generational, 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 generational lie? And you got Trump going to beef up the gun registration crap and now he's going to fulfill the Bible prophecy and bring in the red flag stuff which is prophesied in the word that you know daughter will go against mother and mother-in-law against daughter all that stuff and father against son against father there, he's going to start red flag it's going to be that Nazi brown shirt you know that whole situation where if you get pissed off at somebody you can say, I, I know he's got, he's got some rods in there, you know what I mean? He may have one of them there that has, you know, he may have one of those, you know, things that goes re you know, really fast. What do they call them? The bump bumpy stalkers? The, the bum stalker? What do they call it? I think he's got that in there too. And, uh, I heard him say one time that he was gonna, la, 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 la. And then what are they gonna do? They're gonna, they're gonna have the right to come to your house. And rifle through, yeah, no pun intended, ladies and gentlemen, rifle through your personal stuff. Because Trump's going to help, he's going to secure the nation of, of the moral decay by letting everybody tell on everybody's sin. You're all, oh, I wanted to say the F word. You're all sinners bigger than you ever imagined, and you're going to die and perish for a lack of knowledge. Because nobody's telling you the truth. And so, we're here. We're here, boys and girls. You're going to turn the corner in 2020. The real ID and the census. The Herodian census. And then, four years after that, we have the wonderful Yahweh sent final portion of the X. The eclipse coming across the nation from New York to Texas. And it's going to have that vortex right there in Missouri. And it is the last, it's the 22nd letter in Paleo Hebrew, in Ancient Hebrew. It's the 22nd letter, the letter X, which the devil got you to sign your signature right in the book of life. You signed all this crap you signed. When your contracts are supposed to be oral, you let your yes be yes, your no be no. That's the foundation of America, by the way. And so the big ass X is coming from Yahweh, and it means America is finished. That's right. You better repent now. Everybody, everybody, you better, personal repentance is much better than waiting for some other Goyim to do it. Some other Christian heathen to do it. Some other Jew to do it. Some other Messianic to do it. Better you do it. Why? Because the Bible says, work out your own salvation with fear and trembling. Are you doing that tonight? Did you keep the Sabbath today? Did you not buy and sell today? According to the sun, the moon, and the stars? Oh no, we heard that that whole solar lunar reckoning there, right there, we heard that's from Babylonian. Ba the Jews bought that from Babylonian. And uh, so we trust the Jews now, though. Yeah, we lean on the arm of flesh of the Jews and we just trust them right now. They say Saturday's the Sabbath. And uh, you ought to study. Because a rabbi made up the whole Saturday Sabbath for the sake of long-term banking commerce. Because they knew the righteous sheep would never pay a bill on a holy day. So they screwed you, man. You're in right up to your necks. It's called the guillotines are coming. You gave away your headshot at the motor vehicle department. Yes, you did. And you're past the port. Woohoo! Yeah, and your post office zip 
code locks you in. Your last name is the mark of the beast name. Yeah. And the first, middle, and last name, all capital letters. You're dead. That's your birth certificate corporation name. And they buy and sell you on the stock market every day. And when you go and you're at the court system and they charge you, they're charging that account, which can be worth 10, 15, 20, 30, 40, 50 million dollars. They charge it and they split up the, the bounty. Oh, yeah. It's that crooked. It's that evil. And everybody who is our brothers and sisters, lawyers, judges, administrative lawyers, policemen, they're so indoctrinated with these layers and layers and layers of lies, they'll say, well, yeah, I know, brother, I know, I'm a policeman, I might only got 10 more years to go, I, I can't do much anything, you know, I, I'm pretty close to getting my pension money, and I want to quit, I'm ready to leave now, if I can leave early, I'll leave now, but there's not much I can do, I agree with you, brother, but I can't do shit. Yeah, that's the way they talk, yeah. So, hey. What are you going to do about the dung on the floor? What are you going to do about the dung on the floor? The dung in your life? What are you going to do about it? A weapon of iron ain't going to help your ass. What's going to help you is sackcloth, repentance, and you won't do it. Because you're prideful, Laodiceans, thinking you got everything figured out. And you've been conned, 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 fraudulently lied to, conned, 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 fraudulently lied to. The devil is subtle, more subtle than all the beasts. And he is, what? There to kill you? Vaccinations, GMOs, Fukushima, uh, lying programming from television, uh, hell cell phone, 5G. I mean, the list goes on. They ride in the cruiser as the devil, uh, roaming about as a lion, a roaring lion. They got the, you know, the siren, right? Roaming about, seeking whom they can devour today. Right? They stop you. Can I uh, get you what's your date of birth? Can I see your license and registration? Date of birth, please. DOB. Uh, could you please look into my body cam? Thank you. All right. I'll be back in a moment. They go back there, they check your credit rating. Did you know that? They check, they have access to your, the police have access to your credit rating. So if you're not a bill paying birth certificate, all capital letter, beast name, a person, ghost, you're a ghost, you have to appear in court, you're a ghost, you have to have a lawyer be the, the medium to talk to you, to talk for you, excuse me, and to you. He's, he talks to the ghost and he talks to the judge and uh, he talks to the accuser, the brethren, that's the district, district, the district devil attorney and uh, so a turn knee means to get you to turn your knee to turn your knee a turn knee yeah worship me a turn knee plea like a flea bargain I'll give you a bargain what do you get bargains when you get charged you charge something at a bargain sale so you get a bargain and you plea and you get a bargain when you're getting charged. You have to turn the knee and worship the attorney general. Yeah, the district attorney, you have to worship his ass or her ass. And they're cashing in your birth certificate bond trust. They're making bucks off of you. That's all right. Don't get pissed off. I'm telling you, there's no relief. All these men aforementioned and women, they're our brothers and sisters. They're our family, man. They're our fellow Americans, but they don't understand. Their mothers and fathers said, especially the Jewish ones, right? And the Italians too, right? Well, I want, I want Maury to grow up and be a lawyer and maybe someday a judge or maybe a district attorney. And maybe he can run for president one day. And then, you know, you've got the Italians, you know, Joey, you know, Joey, the lawyer, Joey, right? And they are fellow Americans. They believe the lie. The whole world believed the lie. That's the calendar. That's, the, that's what they believe. So they're not going to change. It's the British accredited registry system. It, it is a, a rigged system, like Trump says. It's a rigged system, and you can't fight them with a gun. That's over with. You need to listen to me. <laughs> that's over with. If you're going to think in that carnal men's mentality, because our weapons are not, right, carnal, 
We're fi- we're not fighting each other. We're fi- we're not fighting flesh and blood. We're fighting spirits. You just don't have the equipment. That's why he sent me for the perfecting and the equipping of the saints. And in Psalm 149, you're not a saint until you have the Song of Moses and the Song of the Lamb coming out of your mouth like water. And you have to have a tambour, a drum. You have to know his name. You have to have copied the Torah twice, one that you carry all the time, like a Bible, and the other copy is on your doorpost of your dwelling. And then you sing the Song of Moses and the Song of the Lamb with a tambourine drum and the ten-string harp. Do you have one, Mr. Christian? Do you have one, Mr. Jew? How about you, Mr. Messia- Mr. and Mrs. Messianic? Do you have one? Do you have one, Mr. Heathen? Do you have one, Mr. Mr. Goyim, Mr. Gentile, Mr. Mr. American citizen? Do you have one? You don't have one. Psalm 149 says you have to have all this accomplished to be a saint in the flesh. And we execute the judgment written against the heathen. That's our own family. We execute the judgment written. We wrote the copy of the law. We keep the law with our rule hakados, this power from on high. By the grace, by the blood, we keep the law because he died on that wonderful tree, nailed to a tree, and removed the death penalty. Now it's so easy a child could keep the law, train him up in the ways go, and when he's old, he'll walk in the way. But America was trained up in that way, but you took a left turn with the lefties and you said, Hell man, let's burn our bras. Let's be let's be men. We'll burn our bras and be men. Yeah, I'm woman, hear me raw. And numbers too big to ignore. Fancy Nancy Pelosi and all the rest of those. Well, why am I saying that? Because the Bible prophesied. Here it is. We're here now, boys and girls. The women will rule over the men and the children will be your oppressors. Those young lads are learning that computer crap and the government's recruiting two and a half to three million youngins right now in those elementary school levels to be your oppressors. Because that red flag law that's coming, yeah, your own kinfolk are going to turn your asses in. They're going to watch every move you make, every move you make, every vow you break. The beast is going to be, I'll be watching you. And you are sitting there not getting spiritually prepared at all. I heard a preacher... I process served every preacher there is. It took 30 years. I heard a preacher, I process served him seven years ago. I heard him on the radio today on the Sabbath on an FM station, Christian station. And he was preaching about the Temple Mount and prophecy of the end of days. He's talking about the two witnesses. He says, I think they're alive now. I think they're here now. He says, I don't know who they are. I don't know what they look like. I think they're here now. And uh, he says they're going to be on television, Redneck Nana Sam. They're going to be on television. They're going to, they're going to use every means of communication possible. They're going to, the two witnesses are going to... No, they're not. He doesn't even know. He has no idea. The whole world will see the two witnesses. The, the two witnesses are the Old and New Testament. That's the bodies that will lay in the streets of peace. They're bodies, the body of the documents. Old Testament is Moshe, which is Levi, Levi pronounced properly, and the New Testament is Benjamin, the youngest son of Jacob Israel, uh, Benjamite. So there's two witnesses, two bodies of documents that you're going to, the whole world's going to throw the Bible down. You've already thrown down all the things that I told you about, and you don't give a damn. You're Laodicean, you're, 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 you're going to hell. And you're not preaching Matthew 10. You're not preaching the fear of the Almighty from the rooftops, which is what was preached to make America great in the beginning. The foundation of America has been cracked and destroyed. And that is the preaching of the old. The men of old, your fathers, would preach the fear and hell hot, hot, and keep the commandments. And the pioneers of America used to keep the Old Testament. It's a fact. They used to teach it in the schools. That was the curriculum. It wasn't common core. Fuzzy math. There was no teacher's freaking union. It was... School masters. And the curriculum was... Harold, could you please stand up and uh, read from Isaiah chapter 14, verse 1. Go down to verse 10. Come on, Harold. Thank you, Harold. And he read the Bible. And that's how they ciphered from the Bible. The math was there. The grammar was there. Everything was there. 
was all there. That was the curriculum of America. That was your foundation. And and neighbor would love neighbor, and they would make oral agreements. No, not when you say, let's go down to the lawyers. I got a good Jewish lawyer. Let's go down there. Uh, what are you going to promise me? Well, you're going to you're going to make me some hide skins for my family. Have clothing. I need some boots for my boys. And uh, I'll get you some grain by the will of the Almighty. I'll sign a contract. Let's go down that Jewish lawyer I know. And by the way, we're going to stop by the notary while we're at it. Now, do you have a social security number? Do you have a driver's license? I need to get your ID. Think about it. all the bullshit, and you've, you've, you've stepped right in the caca. You're right in the caca right up to your necks, America. And your cup of fornication, you've gotten every nation in the world drinking from it, man. You are Mystery Babylon, and you're falling. Confusion is leaving. And then you have the great big scriptural prophecy. Woe unto the multitude. That's you. In the valley of decision. Are you going to come out of the whore or stay there? And love her bed. Right? Smells good, don't it? All bullshit smell. It's all perfumed with crap. And you've been smelling the crap, and you just sit there and say, Whoa, I think it smells pretty good right now. Kind of get used to that barn smell, don't you, Billy? I got my barn boots on. Kind of get used to that smell. Doesn't matter to me, though. Got to have the milk anyway, right? Got to make a buck, right? Got to make a buck, Billy. You know that. Can't fight City Hall. You know that. You know that, Brother Billy. Got to pay my taxes. Got to pay my property taxes. You know how it is. They tax you from cradle to grave, Brother Billy. Got to do it. No, you don't. Every time you pay those taxes, when I pay taxes, sales tax, whatever it is, I declare as the king, you're stealing from me. And I give him a little more. What he said to do in red letters, what did the master say? When that thief comes to steal, when he comes to destroy, to steal, to take, you give him more than he came for. And I, Yahweh, he says, he tells us, he promises us, I'll pour hot coals on their head. Then you see the treasurers of counties who take property taxes, and you see them starting to have guilt. Because they know this is bullshit. I'm renting the land. Uh, she, you know, he or she's a, uh, the, the treasurer becomes a landlord. The property management. And if you don't pay the, the, the rent, they send their sheriffs with their freaking guns. So the rest of your brothers in America will kill your ass and drag you out of your own home and make you leave all your possessions there. I've seen it. And you think this is good and the policemen think this is good and the lawyers and the, and the doctors and the politicians, they think all of this is good. You're crazy. That's the curse. In Deuteronomy chapter 28, it's called madness. The final curse is madness. So now they're going to red flag you. And you're looking for the devil to come, the Antichrist, to come in a red suit with a pitchfork, and um, maybe talking like Obama, and you think you're waiting for him to come. You know, the devil's going to come, the Antichrist man, he's going to come. Nope! And you are the Antichrist, man. You're, there are many Antichrists. What's an Antichrist? Christ was the Torah law made flesh. You don't want the Old Testament. He died to remove the death penalty from himself. He was that word made flesh. He, he died to remove the death penalty from the marriage contract, the covenant, and still kept the covenant alive because he never divorced his bride from the desert, from Mount Sinai. We're still married to him, stupid! You didn't want him! He loves you so much he gave up the ghost. He didn't divorce you because he doesn't lie. You lied. You went away from him. Yeah, the Old Testament is so easy to keep with a set-apart spirit of truth. I mean, you people, the grace is so delicious. You can drink it. You can swim in it. You can, you can, you can, you can conquer everything in Christ. All things are possible. We're more than conquerors because we use the grace properly. 
We all fall short of the esteem, but we use the grace properly. Because those who keep the commandments of the Creator and have the blood of the Lamb, duh, we overcome the beast, his mark, and his image. Yeah. You listen to the preachers, the rabbis, the lawyers, the doctors, the pundits. The Patriot Broadcasters especially are really in trouble. They're really in trouble. Oh, man, they're, you can... I, I'll listen to them on the Sabbath. I, wow, they're pretty convincing. Really. They're very convincing. You would think, wow. Let's buy the T-shirts and all the... Let's buy all the stuff. Let's support them. Uh-uh. Nope. You preach the fear and we'll support you. Otherwise, ladies and gentlemen... You better get yourselves out of the cities. You better get yourself ready for what's coming. Because you want to be, well, says in Isaiah, it says, go into your secret chambers. You got any of them? Anybody out there? And shut all the doors and stay there for a little while till the indignation be overpassed. Yeah. No electric. No services. The government can't use their special weapons. Israel can't use their lasers. And their satellites ain't going to work either. They're going to be like, what the F? What do we do now? Start the generators. Get that diesel fuel over here. Come on, come on. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Uh, General, Mr. President, uh, man. Yellowstone just blew, and we got black carbon ash coming everywhere, and we can't run any of our stuff. Even our electric vehicles can't run in this stuff. It, it's burning up the bearings, and everything we have has to breathe. Jets and helicopters, and he says even the cruise missiles can't go through that because you can't navigate through it. It stops everything, Mr. President. What do we do now? No electric, and we got volcanic ash. Let's all go underground. General, get me underground. We got to establish government underground. We'll go there where the snakes go. <laughs> Mr. President! <laughs> Mr. President, we're down in the tunnels now. We got all the tractor trailers here. We got all the people. We brought your girlfriends and your boyfriends too. And, um, Mr. President, uh, there's a problem. Uh, we just had a big ass earthquake in the 40 foot wall that's supposed to stop the lava from coming in. It cracked. The lava's now approaching us, Mr. President. What do we do? Well, let's evacuate. Take me to one of the islands. Uh, Mr. President, there's earthquakes everywhere on the earth. Uh, Mr. President, there's a 700, 5, 6, 700 mile an hour wind coming, Mr. President, and there's a polar shift happening, Mr. President. What are we going to do now, sir? Uh, by the way, Mr. President, there's plagues we don't even know how to deal with. The CDC is no longer existing, Mr. President. We got plagues we don't even know about, and people are dying underground right now. Look, get them out of here! They're going to come out like worms, says the book of Micah. Get them out of here! That is the truth of how this thing's going to go down. I mean. And they're going to do all sorts of bullshipping and holograms in the, in the air and voices coming from heaven. This is Jesus talking to you. It's going to be bullshipping. <laughs> it's going to be bullshipping time because you've been programmed by motion pictures. You've been programmed by television. You've been programmed by the public school system. You've been programmed by the colleges. You're programmed by your lawyers. You're programmed by your doctors. You're programmed by the police. You're programmed by the fear of man. And what are you going to get? Nada, nothing, zero, zip, Amen. zip, zip, nothing. That's where you're headed. Ain't nobody on the planet going to tell you this information. They don't know it. They have no concept of the fear of the, of the maker of heaven and earth. They are patriot broadcasters. Yeah, they got kahuna hairs. They, yeah, you know, they got they got the testicle. I heard one of them say today he has balls. I thought it was good. They're you know they're not holding back some of the vernacular. I think they should just t say it like it is. He doesn't have any more nuts. Like a I heard a patriot Brock say he didn't have any more nuts. He called nuts you know hundreds of thousands, ten thousands of dollars that it was all taken away from him. You know he says he's down to nothing. He has no nuts left. But he says I still have my balls, my nuts, and uh, I thought that was very good. I. Hey, applaud. Good. Because that's all it takes is testicles. Because that's what David used to take down the giant. 
He had a ram scrotum sack, and he put the five polished stones, which represents the first five books of the Bible, or the Torah. They're the five wise virgins. He put the book of Genesis in, the ram scrotum sack, slingshot, and he let it loose as he's running towards tyranny. The word giant in the story of David and Goliath means tyranny, and David was running towards tyranny. So I applaud these guys. But let me tell you, they're not preaching the fear of the Almighty continually. They have There's hundreds of fear of the Lord's scriptures. All you got to do is put them on there. So if you're on for three hours, put three of them on every hour. That's nine of them. You're not going to run out for months. Just keep cycling them. Fear, fear Yahweh and live. Uh, happy is the man who feareth always. The secret of Yahweh is with them. That he, they don't have to say Yahweh. You can say Lord. Say whatever. Put Alexander Scorpius stuff on it. doesn't matter. Just take the hundreds of fear scriptures from the King James Bible and do what Christ said, Matthew 10, and, and have them on there all the time. We're going to, not, not, uh, we're going to get you Vita, you know, Vita Mest, Vita Mist, Vita whatever, uh, this, this nutritional whatever. No, the nutrition is the fear of Yahweh. That's the blood. That's the mystery of Christ. That's what keeps me going. He says, those that fear him will be of a strong confidence. You'll be bold as a lion. You'll be an overcomer. Amen. Happens the man who feareth always. Uh, the man who fears Yahweh will be at peace with his enemies. Yahweh will put the fear and the dread of you upon all the land. Everywhere you go, he said, men will fear you. They'll tremble at you, at your presence. But you'll give them compassion. You'll, you'll, you'll dispense mercy according to the judgment of Christ himself. Because you hear the still small voice and you know no mercy for him. For him, mercy. Because you see, only the Almighty knows the intentions of anyone's heart. And you need him to tell you, this is Judas Iscariot. Play the violin. Play him like a violin. Because one day he's going to commit Harry Carey. Just play him like a violin. And you know that Judas is right there with you, dipping in the bowl of truth. And that he or she is an actor. And they're digging in with you and they're pretending. And you know who they are. And you let them keep approaching. Because one day, it's over with. Judas carried the money bag, the treasury bag, it says. You see, he was dipping in the money. That's what they do. They dip in the money. Judas was dipping in the money for the poor, like the Demorats do. And the Republicans. The politicians dip in the money. Judas was dipping in the money. He was going to be... Um, audited by Christ. Christ was going to check in the money bag. He was about to check the money bag. Judas was afraid, so he went to the high priest. He said, look, I know where he sleeps at night because Christ was hiding out. He was hiding out. He wasn't, he wasn't living in, in the 911 uh, post, uh, post box address. He didn't, give us, you know, he didn't have a street address. He didn't have a 911 address. Uh, Christ was smarter than all of them. He was hiding. All the disciples were hiding. They were actually sleeping in a cave at night. You didn't know that, did you? They were looking to kill them, stone them. But Judas, just like the red flag law they're trying to do now, Judas gave him up. And Judas knew he was short in the accounting 30 pieces of silver. So he said, hell, I'll turn him in. I'll put the 30 pieces of silver in there. And uh, if he's really the Mashiach, has the power, uh, he'll, he'll stand up and kick their asses. We'll force him to stand up and kick their asses. He'll be our Jewish king. Right here and now. So Judas needed 30 pieces of silver. And he was short. He was going to be, hell, he was audited. And I guess he screwed up because what did he do? He gave the Italian kiss of the scorpion kiss of death, the Jewish mafia kiss of death on the cheek. And Christ said, Friend, because your friends are going to be the ones who screw you over. Friend, why do you kiss me with this kiss of death? Why do you kiss me with this kiss of death? The scorpion kiss. Because the kiss of love is on the neck, not on the cheek. And so he says, friend, why do you betray me with a kiss? The scorpion kiss of the mafia, the death kit. You're about to die. 500 SWAT team came. 500 men came with all their AR, blah, 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 and all their flat crap and all that. They didn't ask him, Are you, what's your DOB? Can we see your driver's license? What's your, we need you to see your ID. One man ID'd him, Judas the betrayer. 
One man ID'd him. You're supposed to have out of two or three mouths, you know, witnesses, two or three, it's established, right? You don't need a damn ID. Two or three witnesses. One man IDs him. 500 SWAT team members. Peter's pissed off. They don't have any guns. They got two swords with 12 men. Because you have to write two copies of the Torah, you know. It's a two-edged sword. It's a big secret, mystery. So Peter cuts the ear off one of the soldiers, letting everyone know, even to this day, in prophecy, if you knew what ear to hear him by, you 500 men would never freaking come here. You're going to be dealing with some crap in your life now, boys. You came for the king of kings. You're going to be cursed with a curse because you believe your lieutenant or captain or general or president. So, they ask him, Are you Yahweh Shua? And he says, I am. And they all fell backwards. And he said, if my kingdom was of this world, he means of this time sequence, if my kingdom was of this time sequence, this world, time, because you love the calendar, you love the world, you love the calendar. He said, if my, if my kingdom was of this time period, ten thousands of angels would come down and kick your freaking asses. That's what Christ told them. And we're here now, boys. He's on his way. And with ten thousand saints, and I'm the advance crew. Yeah. I'm the advance crew. That's it. Ezekiel chapter 33, verse 7. Malachi chapter 3 and chapter 4. Revelation chapter 14, verse 6. I did all this for years over all seven continents and seven seas. It's done. And now, Babylon confusion is falling. Sam, we got ten minutes. Give us a brief overview of the crappy information that's going on, the, the biblical prophetic stuff that's going on in the world, and everybody's just listening, it's listen to classic redneck radio, study the word redneck, the red ribbon, the red thread, study it, because you'll find out why I'm here as Billy Redneck, find out what Billy means, oh man, you gotta study words, okay, thanks, Redneck Nana Sam. Thank you so much, Brother Billy. Powerful words, all true, all true. Well, uh, Elizabeth Warren, Beto O'Rourke, Bernie Sanders, writers from uh, Huffington Post, you know, he's not just a nationalist, he's a white supremacist. Of course, they're talking about President Trump. It's absolutely disgusting. Um, Walmart, uh, the day after those shootings, they pulled... Um, some ads. Uh, f not only did they, you know, tell people to, you know, remove violent video game signage after those mass shootings, they also removed marketing. Um, Universal Studios removed marketing for this just disgusting movie that's so violent. It's called The Hunt, and I'm sure people have heard about it. Do not watch the trailer. I made the mistake of doing that, and it is absolutely uh, beyond rep reprehensible, totally from the pit of hell. Um, so anyway, um, and Trump made a comment today about um, Hollywood, and Hollywood is racist at the highest level with anger and hate. So I thought, well, okay, he's calling, he's calling that out. But um, Jeffrey Epstein, we usually mention that uh, once a day. Well, Prince Andrew, it's been known for a long time for people who do a little study, who was in, uh, with uh, this young woman, Virginia Griffey. Well, some uh, information came out about that. His name was mentioned in a 2015 lawsuit, so we'll see how that goes on. Um, on other news, uh, it's always the refugees that get hit with biometrics, and now Rohingya uh, refugees, 500,000 Rohingya refugees from Miramar in cooperation with Bangladesh, who won't let them in, biometric cards. Uh, all verified refugees who are 12 years old. Of course, they're still working out those biometrics for infants. And um, in terms of, you know, uh, red uh, flag laws and all this kind of stuff, there's a doorbell you can buy that Amazon bought the company. It's called The Ring. And when you press this doorbell, you can it, it, it shoots video. And what's been happening is that that video is owned by the householder. And Amazon has been training police uh, in Bloomfield, New Jersey, 
uh, and probably other places too, this is the documents from Bloomfield, New Jersey, that the police have been going to the houses and using uh, language that Amazon gives them to make sure that the police can talk the individual homeowners to give them the cops the footage. Okay. Now, here's a very interesting thing. In Canada, Chase Bank, a day before yesterday, forgave all outstanding credit card debt from its Canadian customers. Even debt in the four and five and six thousand dollars. Now, why are they doing that? Well, it seems to me they're preparing for digital currency and, you know, uh, whatever. Um, of course, China's just a bit in the news. Um, it's not importing any soy and it's, it's getting a lot of wheat from Russia and that sort of thing. The United States has halted, um, Huawei, that big 5G company, so much chatter about Google, Facebook, Apple, treason, China, giving away secrets. Just, I mean, it's just amazing. And China has also been, um, forget Russia, uh, China's really been working on the 2020 election and is also behind the scenes in some of this amazing formatting that's going on in our nation, Billy. I just urge people to fear their Yahweh, put on sackcloth, pray and repent. All right, give our contact information away if you want to out, please. If you want to um, uh, get the fear scriptures, uh, do it real quick. I mean, like 30 seconds or so. And uh, don't forget to support us, ladies and gentlemen. Support us. Uh, I mean, you can su- go ahead. You can support this broadcast by sending your donations to Dr. Gary Haygood, 1644-1 Carter Street, Vidalia, Louisiana. Dr. Harry G- Haygood, 1641-1. So, excuse Carter, me, that's that's 1644-1 16, Carter one, Street. Street, Vidalia, Louisiana, 71373. Get a copy of the Fear Scriptures, 856-776-1176. You can also support Classic Redneck Radio by going to theredneckgeneralstore.com and take a look at those products because you're going to need them. That's right. It's sixteen forty-four dash one Carter Street, Vidalia, like the onion with a big V for victory. Victory, Vidalia, Louisiana, seven one three seven three. And uh, make sure you support us because a lot of it, very very exciting things. I'm being extremely uh, filled with the raw Hakadosh. Uh, I mm-hmm. want to read from uh, Jeremiah, Jeremiah chapter twenty-three. Here's a scripture here. Yahweh says to read it to you now. It's going to explain my speech to you. Therefore, thus saith Yahweh of hosts, that means the army, concerning Concerning the prophets, behold, I will feed them with wormwood. That's what I'm doing. I'm feeding you the bitter words. You lied to the people. You've been lied to. You've had, you know, you've inherited lies from your fathers. I'm feeding you the bitterness and make them drink the water of gall. So I'm giving you the water of the word and I'm making you drink it. No matter you like it, like it, leave it or lump it. For from the prophets of the time of peace is profaneness gone forth into all the land of America. Thus saith Yahweh of hosts, which means the army, hearken not, the spiritual army, hearken not unto the words of the prophets that prophesy unto you. They make you vain. That's what you're hearing from all the religions. They speak a vision of their own heart and not out of the mouth of Yahweh. There it is. They say, still unto them that despise me. The uh, Yahweh hath said, Ye shall have peace. And they say unto everyone that walketh after the imagination of his own heart, No evil shall come upon you. That's what they're saying. No evil shall come upon you. For who hath stood in the counsel of Yahweh? So he's telling you, who's really hearing the voice of the Creator? And hath perceived and heard his word. Who hath marked his word? Who gives you the fear scriptures? Free in abundance. The key of David track. Who gives you that? The everlasting good news. And heard it. And heard it. You hear it over and over. The fear of Yahweh. Behold, the whirlwind of Yahweh is gone forth in fury. Even a grievous whirlwind. It shall fall grievously upon the head of the wicked. The anger of Yahweh shall not return until he hath executed. Remember, Psalm 149, we execute the judgment. Until he hath performed the thoughts of his heart, in the latter days ye shall consider it perfectly. I have not sent these prophets, yet they ran. I have not 
spoken to them, yet they prophesied. But if they had stood in my counsel and had caused my people to hear my words, then they should have turned them from their evil way and from the evil of their doings. That's the word of the Almighty. There it is, ladies and gentlemen. That's the word of the Almighty. Now what are you going to do? Now what are you going to do? Why don't you call me? We have three minutes left. We're going to play a song. Call me uh, on the live line, on the air, on the broadcast, 318-414-0053. Give me a call right now. Tell me, do you hear anybody else on the planet speaking from the throne room of Yahweh? Who can swear between heaven and earth? Do you hear anybody? 318-414-0053. Come on, you got about a minute left. Make a call. If you know of anybody, let me know who it is. We'll call them, and I will... I will bring them a blessing. They're not my enemy. Who is for us is not against us. Yeah. 318-414-0053. And we're going to bring in that lovely song. And I hope it's going to encourage you. Praise and worship. It's lovely. 318-414-0053 is the number to call. So if you'd like to call, call now. I'm going to start the song any second. This is ClassicRedneckRadio.com. Call this number for spiritual help, 856-776-1176. Volunteers answer the phone, and they'll contact me, and I'll call you back. And if you'd like the fear of the Lord scriptures, hundreds of them, you want to peruse it, see if I'm telling you the truth, I'll send them to you with the spiritual, scriptural addresses from the King James Bible. Hundreds of them. And why the hell are the preachers, rabbis, and... Uh, Apostles and Pentecostals, why are they not preaching what Matthew 10 says Christ commanded you to preach the fear of Yahweh from the rooftops? Thank you for listening to Classic Redneck Radio. I raise a hallelujah. Notice there's no calls, there's nobody presence of my enemies. I raise a hallelujah. I raise a hallelujah. Come on now. Louder than the enemy. Louder than the enemy. I raise a hallelujah. Yeah. My weapon is a melody. I raise a CR, Nashville, Tennessee, USA, Worldwide Christian Radio.